Shall we? Hello, my name is Craig Phillips. I'll be your interviewer today. Please give me your full name. Uh, hi, good morning, sir. Uh, it's me, Hemkala Thapa Mager. So happy to meet you, Hema. And I'm going to uh, ask you a few questions regarding your student visa application. Why do you want to study in the U.S., Hema? Uh, I choose the uh, U.S. rather than other countries because American degree is the most powerful, stronger than other in the world. And uh, U.S. has a highly developed in you know, education system and with the school skill tools, technique, knowledge, uh, which that I gained from a U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, U.S. degree, and uh, also medical system is a uh, better, and you know there. Uh, so I okay. will also learn to other technique of uh, psychology treatment technique, which I might not learning in my hometown. Okay, very good. And where do you plan to study, and what are you planning to study? Uh, my major is uh, actually my major is a uh, psychology bachelor of psychology and uh, and uh, okay I'm so sorry okay that's, that's fine where are you planning to study uh, uh, you uh, Texas Wilson University sir. okay all right Texas Wilson University and uh, and where is Texas Wilson University located uh, it's a uh, Wilson Fort. Fort Worth. Fort Street. Okay, Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. And uh, and so that uh and tell me, did you apply to any other universities? Uh yes, I applied to oh. university. One is a Rafford and one is a California University. Okay. And uh, why did you choose uh Wilson University? I choose this university because Texas Wilson University is a uh, ranked on the top four hundred in the overall U.S. Uh, U.S. state, and it is uh, also uh, I also talk with the Department of uh, Matthew uh, Department uh, sorry Chair of a Department uh, Matthew Han, who is approachable uh, to me, and uh, so I want to this university. So I choose this university. Okay. Very good. And uh, uh, tell me, uh, 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 tell me uh, how you will uh, travel to this university. Actually, I uh, um, buy a, a ticket. And... Okay. And so you travel from Kathmandu to uh, to uh, which airport in the U.S.? I don't know, sir. Okay. All right. So, and tell me uh, more about the, the university. Uh, like which I applied? Yes. Okay. Uh, one is a Ra Rafford University. Where is that located? Uh, uh, that is also uh, found in a look, uh, Texas was in, uh, today I'm feeling no, not where. <laughs> Okay, no problem, no problem. We'll slow it down, okay? All right, so let's go through it. And this time, I'll answer the questions, okay? And, and, uh, and then I'll give you the run on it, okay? All right, first question coming up, why do you want to study in the U.S.? Sir, that the U.S. offers the best education opportunity in the world. If I make good marks and I have a good degree in a hand, I can cut, and the skills that, with the skills that I've gained, the knowledge that I've gained, I can come back and be a good uh, 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 psychological counselor in in the medical field in in Nepal. My family is in Nepal, and, and so I they are wanting me to get the best study I can, and uh, and so I'm trying to prepare myself for that by studying in the U.S. Okay, where where are you planning to study? I'm planning to study at Texas Wilson University in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay, great. And uh, what are you planning? I'm planning to study psychology, sir. Bachelor's, get a bachelor's in psychology. Okay, great. How much are the tuition costs and living costs each year? The living costs and tuition costs are about 24000 sir. And, uh, and how are you going to pay for this? My parents are going to sponsor me, sir. How are they able to do this? That uh, they will, uh, they have, both are business people and both have these annual incomes. Plus we have savings and property and, uh, 
And so, and we're taking out a student loan as well. So we have sufficient funds to cover my education, sir. Okay. And uh, uh, tell me, uh, are you planning, do you have any relatives in the U.S.? No, sir, I don't. Do you have any, are you planning to work in the U.S.? No, I'm planning only to focus on my studies, sir. And my, what are your plans after you complete your studies? My plans are to, uh, to uh, come back to my home country and uh, join my family here and, uh, and uh, look for a good job opportunity in the field of psychology. Okay, great. All right, so, and uh, when is the, uh, the entrance time for your uh, studies? So what is the entrance date? Sorry? For the entrance date, August, say August 7th uh, is the entrance date for my studies. And uh, and so, okay, and um, so uh, based on the answers you've given to the questions today, I'm happy to grant you a, a visa, Heyman. All right, let's go back slowly through it. In your own words, let's start from the beginning. Why do you Sir, want to be in the U? Yeah. I want to one question, like, okay, uh, go ahead. Uh, like uh, why these universities and can we ta uh, ta uh, tell about uh, them like uh, Matthew and is a like department of a chair department of a psychology. So can we uh, include it, that name or not? Yes, yes, you can include it. The, uh, the offer the program that I want to study. So that's uh, uh, so again about the university. You want to make sure everything matches. You have a good academics, Hema. You have a good uh, work background in your field of medicine and the nursing. And, and so uh, so that's a natural then to want to study psychology to be able to help people. OK, so you have a service service background, medical background. So psychology matches up perfectly. So this department uh, uh, studied um, at psychology there at the University of Texas, Wilson, uh, that it matches perfectly with what you want to study. Uh, what courses will you be taking the first semester? In the first uh, semester, like for foundation of a psychology and counseling and uh, other one is, <laughs> I forget it. Okay, all right. So those things you want to get down. Let me just say that uh, the more you can go through the university website, the more that you can look up about the city where the university is, where it's located, where your airport is, where the, the neighboring cities are. Uh, the more you can familiarize yourself with the city, the place, your flight, where you're going to come in, and things that that will that again, that's going to give you more confidence about it, and uh, and then uh, then more uh, as much as you can study about the university itself, when it was founded, how many students it has, um, what uh, the highlights of the university are, uh, what uh, programs the offer, university offers. How, what the international department is like, how many international students are studying there, how many students from Nepal are there, and uh, and some that have become successful and uh, gone on to other places from their studies there, and then uh, uh, and then as much about the department uh, uh, staff, uh, the head of the department of psychology, or how long they've been there, uh, what what uh, uh, what their expertise is, how many papers they published what books they've written, what accomplishments they've made, any other, uh, one or two other leading professors there in psychology department and their accomplishments. And so, and then uh, your coursework, what your coursework will cover the first semester, second semester, and uh, and and then ba just basics after, uh, for the fourth, the second and third and fourth years. And, uh, and so as much as you can see that in your mind, what it's like, what it's going to be like, then that gives you the confidence about it. It also gives the person who's interviewing you confidence that you are going to be ready for your study there. And uh, and so those things are needed. So go onto the website, learn as much about the university, about the department, about everything you can. Uh, send uh, your, co your contact, the university representative that's been contacting you, ask them questions, tell me about Nepalese that have studied there, uh, tell me about the, where they are now, what they're doing, and, um, and, and, uh, and any to tell me about the strength of the international department, tell me about the uh, uh, activities that you're having, 
and then contact a prof your your department head at the in the psychology department and and ask them uh, uh, about uh, any information that you'd like to get about their department and and their for their specialties. So so they'll be happy to answer those questions. And so just uh, they're used to answering those questions. So go ahead and find out as much information. That will give you a lot of confidence. Okay, Hema. All right, let's go back over the tuition and living costs per, per year. Uh, how much uh, is the tuition and how much is the living cost there at, at Texas Wilson University? Uh, actually, living cost is uh, around $10,000 and my tuition fee is uh, around $30,000, uh, but I got a scholarship $20,000, so it's uh, per annually $16,000. Okay, very good. How are you going to pay for this, Ama? Who will be your sponsor? My my parents are my parents are going to be a sponsor. Okay, and then you stop right there. Don't answer any more. Let them ask you the next question. How will they be able to sponsor you? Uh, okay. Actually, my father is a well businessman, and he has a uh, landed uh, land and which around triple nine crore. And my mother also uh, okay, uh, is a businessman, but uh, and and the crore is not uh, uh, an Amer American American uh, value. So lakhs and crores, lakhs and crores that that we don't use that. So you're going to have to use it U.S. dollars, okay? U.S. dollars, okay? How many U.S. dollars is it? Okay, so you uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, but sir, actually, like. Uh, uh, in the Nepal, uh, there is a uh, no. We can't use a dollar, so we only lack crore. Yeah, but you if have to give. Me, like, okay, so let me just explain to you. The interviewer may be from America, and uh, not familiar with lakhs and crores. So just change it from lakhs to cr and crores to U.S. dollars. Okay, when you're talking to them. Yeah. Okay. Great. And then. Uh, um, and so, and then they'll ask you, do you have the financial documents to support this? And you say, yes, sir, I do. And so you have those in an envelope that you brought with you that, that day. All right. So you, you have two, two envelopes, Hema, when you come in. And so one envelope is a clear envelope. It has all your, your passport, your uh, F-120, your I-60, and uh, uh, and your fee, uh, your uh, visa, uh, original visa fee receipt. And so those are all in that clear one. So you can see quickly where it is, pull it out and show it when you need to. Then you have a second uh, envelope that has your uh, financial documents to support your, that you're being able to be supported completely. And you have your academic documents. And so those two, two uh, the things that you'll carry with you. And so two envelopes, one for the necessary documents. The second one is secondary documents. Now, they're not going to look at your secondary documents typically. 99% of the time, they don't. They don't have time to do that. But they're going to ask you, do you have it? And then they're going to look at your face, how you answer that question. And uh, if you have it and uh, you're confident, then, then uh, you say, yes, sir, I have it. And then, then they're not going to ask you another question about it. Thank you, sir. And then, um, and then, uh, so that's uh, uh, so those two two things you'll need those two envelopes, and so that'll make it very handy. Then you just have those two envelopes there with you, and uh, and so that's a, a simple thing. And then, uh, um, so yeah, so another question, Hema, you have? Um, yes, I have. Like. Mm -hmm. If they say like, why choose this university or this college? Why, and uh, uh, you offering from like you know same program in Nepal, India? Uh, why didn't choose like, and what we like answer will be? Yeah. So again, it's in the U.S. has the best education system in the world, and and so that uh, the getting uh, the skills and knowledge from a U.S. university, uh, recognized U.S. university. Uh, will uh, is a far better opportunity for me for my life 
And uh, and so, yes, you can study in in Nepal, you can study in India, but the U.S. has a, a far better uh, resources, resource, research based and 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 uh, the degree holds stronger importance than a degree from either Nepal or India. So you want to make that clear. And so so then. Yeah, so that's a, a good way to answer it. And uh, 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 they can also about like any vehicle they, they can ask or not like sorry for they can ask uh to us like any vehicles or not any what vehicles vehicles Do you have any vehicles yes. vehicles okay uh they they may ask that question yeah they may uh, i mean that could be a side question do you have a car um, or whatever and then you just answer positively but that's not a normal it's not a normal question yeah. Yeah. And um, you own a car. Okay. But but if you do, then say yes. If you don't, say no. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, um, and then, yeah. So let's go over the last question. What are you going to do after you graduate, Hema? Uh, after I graduated uh, my degree, uh, I uh, returning my home uh, and you know, I'm living with my family, and not only that, I work with a hospital, work in a hospital under the under the government, and I collect uh, some experience, and then after that, I transferred in a rural area. Then after that, I you know I um gathered this uh mental health problem like problems health uh, problem and prepare them education. Uh, it is my future plan, sir. Okay, that's wonderful, Hema. Okay, let's go back over that again. So you're, uh, after you complete your graduation, you're coming back to your family and getting a job with a, a government hospital and using your skills there and then looking for opportunities to work in rural areas in uh, the mental health field. And, um, and so that's a, a short and sweet answer Then you can use your the skills that you gain from your degree to be able to help people in your home country. Beautiful, beautiful uh, dream and beautiful opportunity you have to study in the U.S. to prepare yourself. So that's very, very good, Hema. Any other questions you have, Hema? No, sir. But I actually problem, you know, this, uh, uh, this question like university and who is your, you know, degree plan. Like I resource that, but you know, uh, I don't know how to uh, explain, like you, you told me like first semester plan and how to say like. Okay, in so, so, the, so, the, uh, so just give a, a simple list of the courses that you're to have the first semester. I'll be taking uh, applied psychology, general psychology, uh, psychological concepts and the, 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 whatever the list is of the courses that, that uh, the courses regarding your degree. And um, and so uh, so that that's all you have to do uh, now on the website it will have those lists of first semester second semester generally and so uh, but sir there is a like you know uh, one is a spring uh, like spring course in that degree plan and one is a uh, like uh, like uh, what we say like um uh. Uh, uh, elective, like there is, elective. Uh, they are divided they divided two part like you're a spring one is a spring course and oh. one is a, another course so uh, which one we like included in that in that case okay so so when is your entrance date Emma? may 22 may 22 all right so i think that uh may 22 is the, that's the that starts the summer semester then the su summer session. So you just do the summer session. Okay. The uh, but in, uh, in, in the, like, in their website, they have, uh, like, you know, your uh, one is a fall semester and one is, one is a spring semester. Yeah. So, uh, like, which one I included, like a spring semester or fall semester? A uh, fall semester, fall semester. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and tell me what it has on the fall semester. 
Uh, one is a composition, and one is a general psychology, and yeah. one is a fundamental of a speech elective, and one is a college algebra. Okay. That's okay. But uh, okay. I don't know what is this like. You know, ENG thirteen zero one. Like, I don't know what is this. Can we say that or not? Uh, you don't need to, and you can clarify again with with uh, uh, the university representative. What does this mean? They're happy to tell you that. So just to take a screenshot of it, send it to them, and say what does the, this mean? You know, I, uh, you know how many hours it is or whatever it is. So yeah, and they'll explain it to you. Yeah. yeah. They have a like credit uh total credit, credit hours. Yes, yes, credit yes. hours. Yeah. Uh, yes, they have a total 15 to 16 credit hours. But, you know, uh, in a site, ENG 1301, Composition 1, yeah, like that. So uh, okay. I, I just so, confused. Yeah, okay. And uh, all right. And then ask again about when you start your semester, um, where it has, the, it says the spring semester, does it have the dates on it? The date when uh, it begins and when it finishes? On the spring semester, I don't know. Okay, and uh, fall semester, when does it begin, and when does it get completed? Uh, uh just the tool us like a uh, class started from May twenty two, so we okay. have to. Okay, that's usually the summer semester. That may not be on the website, so you need to to ask them about that. Okay, summer semester, there's not as many students on campus. People are doing their vacation time and working in the summers, and, and then there's not as many students. So they may not put the summer semester up. So, so just go ahead and ask uh, both the, uh, in your department, psychology department, and uh, your, uh, the representative for the university, you know, what classes will I be taking um, then from, from that time? Okay. okay. All right. Hema, it's wonderful to be with you today, and I encourage you to keep your your English is making good improvement pronunciation. So take time again to keep watching the U.S. news every day and imitating the newscasters. If they say that uh, today they'll, that uh, uh, that there'll be uh, uh, the President Joe Biden will be speaking in Fort Worth to the labor union, and uh, you say uh, nice and loudly today, uh, President Joe Biden will be speaking in Fort Worth at the labor union. And so, and so that that um, uh, so then you just practice speaking that English nice and loud and clear into a mirror, imitating the newscaster like you're a newscaster yourself. Yeah, practicing that that English. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, it's wonderful to be with you today, Hema. And uh, and so tomorrow, I think you have a treat that, that we have some other Americans that will be doing the interviews tomorrow. So please come on tomorrow and, and do some more interviews. Yeah. All right. Take care Thank and have you, a sir. great day, Hema. Thank you. Yeah. See you. Good day, sir. Okay. See you. Great.